Hello and welcome to Race and Ronies. I've been at home and in bed a lot and not doing too terribly much. I mean, being a mom with a big family, you still got to do, but my not too terribly much is I didn't get out too much trying not to get hot and working on extra things. I have slept a lot more. I, t I have been taking naps during the day because sometimes at night I haven't been able to sleep because my mouth has been bothering me and some of the medication they give me I was allergic to. Since I had the tooth extracted I've still been doing clothes especially trying to catch up. My dryer had broke the little door piece that snaps in where it latches. A little I don't know some little prong thing on the door is supposed to go in and snap. Well it had broke so I had to get that. So I got behind on my clothes and I already have enough to do. But when you add not doing clothes for a day or two, I've got a pile. So we've been trying to catch up on clothes, take down Christmas stuff, Christmas tree. It's kind of laying out in the yard right now. I was trying to decide what to do with the Christmas tree. A lot of people throw them in the pond, so I thought about that. But then again, I thought it was so dry, it might be kind of neat to torch it and see how fast it'll burn. What do y'all think? Drop a suggestion or idea in the comment below, and if you've got something even different than that, you know, I'll be willing to try it. I just, I don't know. I think growing up, most of ours, when we did have live ones, they always ended up in the pond. For some reason, I'm thinking that if you light it, it would go up in just a few seconds. I kind of wanted to see if it would do that. The babies are asleep. I don't know if you can see them right there. They needed a nap really bad. It's already after one. I'm trying to make it to pick up the kids at school, the younger three, because Hope has a game and it's in Laurel. So that's a good drive for us. I don't know, it's over an hour from here, but plus I have to drive another 30 minutes to get to them to pick them up at school. So I've got a good ride. So I let the twins stay up until now. As soon as I put them in the car, they were asleep. No sippy cups, no nothing, just their blankets and they were gone. I still don't feel the best. My mouth has been bothering me a lot more today than it has at all, but it's swollen more. And um, they told me to keep putting a little bit of heat on the side here for that and the swelling and stuff and continue taking ibuprofen and Tylenol alternating them. So that's what I'm doing, but I feel some pain and discomfort. So since I feel a little bit of pain and discomfort and I still feel a little loopy from I guess being put to sleep and then sleeping and my my days and nights and my whole routine's off plus today's the first day the day kids went to school so they've been off for over a couple of weeks and when you don't have that routine and you've been sick and you're on medication and you've been put to sleep I, I just I'm, I'm just barely getting by I'm making it I asked Brian to meet me to drive because I don't trust myself right now, especially having to drive that much further and then it's gonna be late and then having to drive back at night. I'd prefer him to drive, all of us. I feel like we'd be safer and everything. Not that I'm just a bad driver or anything, it's just, I don't know, I don't feel good. And when you don't feel good, you don't wanna do anything chasing after twins all day, doing clothes, trying to put up some food. I don't know. I think I've got a video that's supposed to be going out before this one. I'm so far behind on editing. I should, you think I would have had time to edit, but instead I actually slept. I'd try to edit and I'd fall asleep with the phone in my lap and then it would fall off the bed and I thought I broke it a few times. So I quit trying to edit when I was laying in bed because I'll fall asleep with it. I've got several videos I'm behind on. They may be out of order. I don't know what's going to happen to my videos, but hang in there. You'll get some 
information about me or learn more about me or how our days went but they might be a little jumbled or crazy or something especially me editing I know I put a couple of them out there my daughter edited she's like mama you didn't edit to this and I said yes I did she went from a 40 minute video down to seven minutes and eight seconds I'm like faith there's no need in me carrying around a video camera if you're gonna take it all away she's like but it got boring so she said if it doesn't end address to her she cuts it out so she cut out a lot of my video I haven't even got to look at it I just went ahead and let it go out there and said hey we'll do another one later I've got enough content to do a whole bunch of them unless I let her get a hold of them she does better at editing she has more ideas and what grasps people's attention and she's very creative with different I don't know designs and stuff and the way it pops in and out and comes up with names and endings and all this kind of stuff she's just real good with all that she just don't leave all my content which might be a good thing I don't know we'll see but I want to thank all of y'all that subscribe I am over 13,000 I would have never dreamt that I just it's only been this Let's see, November 2021 was a year, so it's been a year and a little over a month, and I've made over 13,000. I'm almost 13,100 last I checked. I'm pretty close to it. I know it was over 13,000, so it, it, it's climbing. I really appreciate everyone that's watching my videos and subscribing and sharing and everything that you do, commenting and everything like that. It wouldn't be possible to do that without all of you. Anyway, I just wanted to update y'all and kind of let y'all know that I'm still alive. I'm surviving. I'm on pilot mode. Just doing what I got to do to get by the past few days and probably the next few days until I get over this. Um, if it doesn't get any better, I may go on tomorrow to the dentist or oral surgeon and see if they need to pack it with some medicine or something like that. But um, I'm hoping it's just swelling and stuff I'm gonna continue what they told me to do and if it's not better tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm going to see them this year has started off really poorly for me in my videos and pictures but I know in time I'll get to feel it better and that'll change so to all my family y'all better enjoy it while you can because mama's coming back with the camera soon
Let's go, defense!
I would like to thank all of y'all for watching us. And if you will, please like, share, and subscribe. Click on that bell for notifications when we have new videos. Y'all have a blessed day from Raising Ronies.